next lecture from the unit number 3 so today we are going to see the levels of the implementation of knowledge based agent now before we go to the start with the that levels of implementation of knowledge based agent uh, we just recap what we have seen in the first lecture of the unit 3 now already i have told you to do the revision also and i hope all of you are done but just recap and uh, then we start with our second point so we have started uh, in the first lecture of the unit 3 <clears throat> uh, regarding the discussing about what is mean by the logic and reasoning and uh, these things so we have uh, in short uh, let's see the logic we have discussed it is nothing but the uh, basic fact or the knowledge about the real world things with the example already we have discussed that is the logic and reasoning is nothing but the <clears throat> the personal opinion or the thought process regarding the anything that is being uh, there in the real world that is nothing but the reasoning we have seen and uh, <clears throat> in that also we have discussed what is mean by the knowledge representation and the reasoning so it is the one of the field of uh, ai artificial intelligence uh, which is being used to represent the information about the real world okay and in certain form so that it can be utilized to solve the different complex problem various complex problem up to we have discussed like the <clears throat> uh any kind of uh, medical problems playing the games etc etc whatever the things being done by the human being in the real world such kind of things we are expecting to be get done from the agent or the ai agent or the robot and you know to do that representing the information about the real world thing is very important in certain format okay that is nothing but the knowledge representation and the reasoning also we have discussed the what do you mean by the knowledge based uh, agent okay so knowledge based agent is nothing but the uh, kind of entity uh, which can copy the same kind of uh, behavior or uh, which can show the same kind of intelligence that is being shown by the human being understood that we are referring as a knowledge based agent here i have written the knowledge based agents are those who have the capability or those who have the ab ability to maintain the knowledge to store the knowledge to utilize the knowledge okay to update the knowledge and take action these all the things are being done by the human being with the help of the brain now when the some non natural entity like the robot or the ai agent does these all the things if the ai agent is able to do all these things like updation of knowledge storing of the knowledge performing the action then we are calling this agent as a knowledge based agent okay and uh, after that we have seen the different components of uh, knowledge based agent so knowledge based agent mainly consist of the knowledge base and the inference system and in that also we have discussed the architecture of the knowledge based agent the question generally being asked and in that we have seen the three main components are there related with the uh, architecture of the knowledge based agent in that first is the knowledge base itself then we have the second as a inference engine and uh, environment is also there okay but uh, we have to mainly focus on this part as a component of the uh, knowledge based agent and the learning element is there this already we have discussed like the uh, what the knowledge based agent does through the environment it perceives something it senses something then that sensing information goes to the knowledge base it gets stored in the knowledge base if if we if you ask the knowledge based agent to perform some activity that signal also goes in like this way from the environment it goes to the inference engine the inference engine regarding the query that is being uh, asked by anybody or the action that is that is being asked to perform by anybody 
so inference engine compare that query with the knowledge base and then from the knowledge base it gets some answer and then the, it goes to the inference engine and then certain action is being performed by the knowledge base agent now during this activity uh, the agent uh, get the number of experience okay and that experience information is also get updated in the knowledge base only okay so this this part already in details we have discussed last time <clears throat> so in, <clears throat> like then what is mean by the knowledge base knowledge base is nothing but what it is storing the <clears throat> all the kind of information that is required to perform some kind of action by the knowledge base agent what is the inference engine inference engine apply some rules to the knowledge base okay apply some rules to the knowledge base and it try to get the answer for the certain query or it try to uh, get the information from the knowledge base how to perform certain action and then certain action get performed <clears throat> learning element or the that is main uh, learning element is nothing but for the what purpose to update the knowledge base if some already last time i have told you the example related with the driving the vehicles okay when you get some new experience that you add in your <clears throat> that you add in your uh, knowledge base as in your brain at some updation of the information in the similar way learning elements update the information within a knowledge base so these all the part and lastly we have seen the uh, certain kind of behavior shown by the knowledge base agents is through the this three operation tail mechan tail operation ask operation and the perform operation where the tail operation does what tail operation simply tells the knowledge base that what he has perceived means what information he has received from the environment it is being tailed to the knowledge base then ask operation what does the ask operation does ask operation is like when the inference engine ask something to the knowledge base in order to perform any kind of operation that is the ask operation this ask operation ask the knowledge base what action to be performed and perform is nothing but the last one that is the performing some kind of action so this all the part last time we have discussed in details we are, we are, today we have just recap it okay so all of you clear the first point the point that we have discussed in the first lecture okay yes sir now on the base of that we have our second uh, point yes sir okay, that is the next point on which the question being asked number of times the levels of the implementation of knowledge base agent how the knowledge base get the knowledge base agent get implemented step by step through the different levels okay so this we will see with the example now mainly we have the first level in the implementation of knowledge base agent implementation in the sense what yes what do you mean by the implementation of knowledge base agent Sir, so we can say to apply the uh, our we can say we can apply the technique on the uh, this knowledge base agent. Agent, okay. How this knowledge base agent actually get created and how it perform its activity? That is nothing but the implementation of knowledge base agent. Now, uh, in that we have the <clears throat> first level, level by level. We have the first level that is the knowledge level. Okay, what is first level? That is the knowledge level now what happens in this level okay so in the first level that is the knowledge level of the knowledge base agent now here my question to you is what at the initial stage is it possible for the knowledge base agent to acquire the knowledge by itself you got the question what i am asking at the initial stage is it possible for the knowledge base agent to acquire the knowledge by itself or we need to give some knowledge to the knowledge base agent initially yes is it required to give the knowledge to the knowledge base agent initially yes yes first we need to 
fill some information within a knowledge base now for what purpose we need to fill some information within knowledge base because we 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 require that knowledge base agent should perform some activity yes or no yes sir if you want the robot should perform some activity for yourself then you need to fill you need to add some information you need to add some knowledge within a knowledge base of that agent yes or yes, no yes sir yes yes so that is the first yes. level so in the first level what happen we need to specify the agent what we need to specify the agent we need to specify the agent for what purpose that agent is to be going to be get created okay what goals that agent has to achieve what are the goals of that agent so in the first level that is the knowledge level in short we need to provide the knowledge to the knowledge base agent you are getting the point first level is what we need to give some knowledge to the knowledge base agent all of you are getting yes so knowledge level is what we need to specify what the agent should know what why, what we need to specify what the agent should know now what if you if you uh, if you trying to create the knowledge base agent uh, for some activity any kind of activity for example driving activity okay for what purpose driving activity now first you need to give the information to the that knowledge base agent how to drive etc etc you are getting my point what information is required to drive this all the information we need to give to the knowledge base agent so in the first level that is the knowledge level we need to give some knowledge some information to the knowledge base agent so this same thing i have written here in this level agent will know about the fact or the information about the surrounding environment in which the agents are going to work you are getting the first level yes sir what is the first level what what we need to do give the some knowledge to knowledge. give the some knowledge to the knowledge base agent understood so same i have this level describe the agent by what it knows through its knowledge base so that information will put in the knowledge base okay and we also specify ki what goal the knowledge base agent has to achieve now goal can be what can you tell me the any example of goal for the knowledge base agent for example driving the car is a goal yes another you can say the, if there is a one object is here okay the and this is the your uh, agent now this agent should pick this object from this place and put this object at this place yes or no yes sir okay so this kind of uh, can, can be the different goals now in order to do this we need to fill some information within a knowledge base of the knowledge base agent and that fact or the information regarding what agent should do understood what agent should do that information is nothing but our knowledge level that thing is being specified in the first level of implementation that is nothing but which level our knowledge level okay knowledge level then same thing we have specified in the next part also the initial knowledge of the knowledge base now this kind of knowledge the initial knowledge we give to the knowledge base agent that is being also referred as the background knowledge okay that is also called as what the background knowledge so agent at the knowledge level can view as a agent for which only need to one need to specify what the agent should know what it goals in order to specify its behavior regardless of how it is implemented now one thing you should keep in mind in the first level here we are specifying what agent should do we are not going to specify how agent is going to do that things you are getting my point yes sir what we are here what we are specifying what agent should do we are not specifying how agent should do it you are getting point yes sir okay so what agent should do and in order to do that what information he will require that everything will specify in the knowledge level okay 
now we we here we have taken the two uh, our real life example now suppose you want to create the house cleaning agent what you want to create house cleaning agent now you know to clean the house what agent should know that is my question you know to clean the house what agent should know how to clean the house no. and all how is not come in the knowledge level only what what material will be required exactly. to clean the house what material is required house? like you know to clean the house Soap, you need the mop detergent mop manje apla the jadu type asta baka mop okay floor काय नक्की क्लीन करायचंय क्लिनिंग मटेरियल कुठे ठेवलेलं आहे सोप डिटर्जंट एटसेट्रा दिस थिंग्स आर कम्स अंडर द नॉलेज लेवल गॉट द पॉइंट नाव ओके सो ऍज आय रिटर्न युअर ऑल दीज आर डिफाइन इन द नॉलेज लेवल अंडरस्टू नाव सेकंड एक्झाम्पल आय हॅव टेकन रिगार्डिंग द ऑटोमॅटेड टॅक्सी लाईक इट इज लाईक द ऑटोमॅटेड कार ओके ड्रायव्हरलेस कार ओके नाव in the driverless car that car itself is the uh, ai agent yes or no in the driverless car that car itself is the ai agent you are you are getting yes sir yes sir yes sir okay now in case of the automated taxi agent automated taxi agent the what should the that agent should know the agent should know like if he he need to go from the station a to the station b what he know he need to go from the station a to the station b and he he should also know that there is a bridge between the station a and the station b like bridge x is bit, which there is a bridge x connecting the station a and the station b you can consider the station a can be one city station b can be a another city now these two cities are connected by the this bridge now this kind of information must be known by whom this kind of information must be known by the automated taxi agent that thing also comes under the knowledge level okay got the first level yes sir okay let's see next level that is the logical level okay after the knowledge level next is the logical level okay now first that information we provide to the knowledge base agent that is being considered as a raw and the discrete information what kind of information raw information in the sense what raw and the discrete information basic information basic Okay. background information background knowledge apa sangitle background knowledge but uh, means the kind of inform information is there but using that information the knowledge base agent cannot perform the activity because as i said the last point we have discussed knowledge representation in the previous lecture we have seen the point of what knowledge representation now that knowledge you are giving to the knowledge base agent it has to be represent in certain format yes or no yes sir yes sir if you are expecting the computer to do some activity for you if you are expecting the computer should sort the number for you yes sir what yes, you are sir. doing you are writing the program yes or no yes sir means what you are expecting that computer should do for you you are writing that information in certain form that is in the form of some language yes or no yes sir in the yes. similar way the kind of this descript and raw information you are providing the first level that is the knowledge level it has to be represent in some encoded form it has to be represent in some what encoded form it has to be represented using some formal language what is has to be represented using what some formal language or it has to be represented using some logical language okay and in case of the ai representation there are the two types of the representation of logic are there okay now how to represent this raw and the discrete information there are the two important ways are there 
first way is nothing but the proposition logic and second is nothing but the fol that is the first order logic you got the point yes sir we cannot just give the raw information to the knowledge base agent that information has to be represented into some logical form that is nothing but our logical level and the same point i have written here at the logical level the encoding of knowledge into the logical sentence occurs you got the point from which level we are giving the knowledge using which level we are giving the knowledge 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 level now in the second level what is happening encoding of that knowledge yes in some logical sentence occurs now how it is being get done i told you this point we are going to discuss in detail in the further point of this unit so there are the multiple ways of representation of knowledge here i am just explaining for your understanding proposition logic and the first order logic what exactly it is that we will see later on okay okay now just i have shown you here the sample example ki representation of knowledge in some logical format now in the previous point knowledge level i told you the second example there is a station a and the station b now yes. knowledge base agent should know bridge between a and b there is a bridge between this station a and b that is the x. okay we are considering this bridge as a x now in the knowledge level we are providing this information but representation of that information is happen like this just as a sample i am telling you this is the logic level representation what links in bracket x a comma b you are getting yes sir the knowledge level information that draw and the descript information is represented in the logical level as like this link x comma a comma b means what does it mean x connect the a and b got the point yes sir so this descript and the raw information is represented like this just as a sample i am telling you link and in bracket x comma a comma b so this is nothing but the encoding of the information that we are providing in the first level in some logical format got the point yes sir so that is the second level where we encode the information that we provide in the uh, knowledge level in some logical format using some uh, or different ways of representation like the proposition logic first order logic etc there comes the final level of the level of implementation of knowledge base agent and that is the implementation level this is the final level or the layer of the knowledge base agent now in the implementation level what happen implementation the no logic which we have given to the agent the information which we have provided in the knowledge level then the logic which we have provided in the logical level using that actual implementation happens what happen actual implementation in the sense some action get perform in the implementation level got the point yes sir. yes sir so in the implementation level now you know to do the implementation that is nothing but doing the implementation is nothing but performing some action so in order to do the implementation or in order to perform some action the necessary levels are nothing but the logical level and the knowledge, knowledge. level understood now if you carry on with our same example that we were discussing from the knowledge level like for example in case of this implementation level automated taxi agent actually implement his knowledge and logic so that he can reach to the destination you got the point so this is nothing but the so going from the station a to the station b using his knowledge and the using his logic that is nothing but the implementation level okay then if you if you see the example of a cleaning agent now in case of the cleaning agent finding the place to clean finally 
and performing the action that is cleaning the dirt on the floor as a result the agent get clean the floor which is the goal state cleaning the floor is nothing but our goal state yes or no in case of the cleaning a cleaning agent what is our goal state cleaning the floor in case of the automated taxi agent what is our goal state reaching from the source to the destination understood so here how to do okay how to that is being uh, uh, specified in the what you can say our last level that is nothing but the implementation level you got the point yes sir so with the help of these three levels the implementation of knowledge base agent takes place what was our first level knowledge level what what we what is what is the knowledge level define the goal define the goal providing the information to the knowledge base agent in the yes background knowledge base agent ki what exactly he has to do you got the point that is our knowledge level then yes. second level logical, logical level. level logical level in that what happen we represent the Encoding information the that we are getting from the knowledge level in some logical format got the point yes. and lastly nothing but the using that previous two level performing the action got yes. the point yes okay now here i have taken the some exam one example related with the same point <clears throat> okay just uh, i have represented that what you are discuss in some another form okay this is being referred as the pseudo code okay pseudo code for the things we have discuss now our function we have referred as here knowledge base agent okay as a function knowledge base agent now here we have taken the knowledge base uh, kb as a knowledge base kb variable as a knowledge base variable t as a counter means it is a, it gives you the idea how much time is required to complete some action that is being represented with the t as a counter initially this t is set to 0 t indicating what t indicating the time okay now here you can see the three sentences we have written as a pseudo code in that first you can see as i said <coughs> knowledge base agent perform the activity with the help of the different mechanism mechanism like uh, we have discussed the tail mechanism what tail mechanism tail mechanism does what yes tail mechanism does so what what it does tail, tail mechanism <coughs> environment kadun ka yete te sangto te yala it, knowledge it percepts something from the environment that's why i have written here you can see the kb kb stands for the knowledge base comma make percept sentence kb comma make percept sentence what does it mean make percept sentence so it generate a sentence as a setting that agent perceive the given some something from the perception uh, something from the environment so make percept sentence generate the sentence and that sentence is nothing but what something which has perceive from the environment the agent is going to perceive from where agent is going to percept from where perception means what perception means what gene percept means sensing something <clears throat> percept means what sensing something understood and that is the first uh, statement we have written tail kb comma make percept sentence means what tail to the knowledge base agent what he has perceived from the environment that is the meaning of make percept sentence understood first one yes sir tell to the agent what he has perceived from the environment at certain given time second 
action that is the ask in the ask kb comma make action query ask operation is what action should be performed quickly action ask is nothing but which action should be performed yes sir got the point now this ask is the query to what this ask is the query to the knowledge base yes or no yes sir so this is been going to be performed by whom inference engine yes or no yes inference so same thing i have written the make action query make action query generate a sentence or the query to ask which action should be get perform at the particular time Sorry. okay and <clears throat> lastly <clears throat> make action sentence what does it mean tell kb <clears throat> bracket make action sentence what does it mean tell the agent to perform that particular action that is nothing but the actual implementation execution you 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 must get the difference between the make percept sentence and the make action sentence what is the difference between these two sentences firstly they identify or recognize and then perform the action make percept sentence in the sense what it tell the agent what is what he is perceiving from the environment what the point yes what information he is getting from the environment and make action in the sense performing right. the actual actions yes. understood that is the make action sentence generate a sentence which assert that the chosen action should get executed or certain action should get implemented okay this is a sample uh, pseudo code i have shown here we just uh, showing how the implementation of knowledge base agent uh, get done okay so same thing i have written here that we have discussed the knowledge base agent takes the perception as a input this part this part does what take the perception as a input and return an action as a output okay the agent maintain the knowledge base as a kb it initially has some background knowledge that is being done by our knowledge level yes or no correct agent initially has some background knowledge which level does this knowledge base which level gives the background knowledge knowledge level knowledge level that so here i have mentioned the same thing agent maintains the knowledge base and it initially has some no background knowledge of the real world and there is also we are uh, using a counter t indicating the time for whole process so initially that counter t is also being set to the zero and then it get increase the way action get perform likewise <clears throat> and lastly you can see after doing all this we are returning some action that is a, what action is being get perform so each time when this function is get called okay each time when this function which function this function kb uh, knowledge base agent percept this function get call there three operations are get perform in that firstly is what tell operation it tell the knowledge base what it perceive perceive in the sense what taking the input input from the environment sensing something from the environment secondly it ask the knowledge base what action to perform what action should be get perform and third is nothing but telling the knowledge base the uh, third agent lastly the agent tells the knowledge base that actual uh, actual action implementation is get done in the last level that is the uh, in the third sentence actual implementation of that uh, action that is being chosen in the second level is get done okay so whenever this function get call this three operation get perform in the first telling the knowledge base what it perceive in the second uh, tell the ask the knowledge base what action to be get perform and lastly actual implementation of that action okay so this is nothing but uh, our uh, second uh, <clears throat> point in case of our uh, third uh, unit that is the 
levels of implementation of the knowledge base agent all of you understood yes sir okay any doubt yes. when the question will be asked in the levels of implementation of a knowledge base agent okay you need to specify these three levels uh, you can specify any example for that also and you can also explain this function kb agent uh, the way i have explain you okay it depends on the how many marks uh, the question will be asked if the question will be asked for the four marks just these three levels with the example is sufficient if the question is asked for the eight marks then you should uh, mention this pseudo code also and what exactly meaning of this pseudo code that you need to also explain for the eight marks okay yes sir okay so that's it for the today's lecture next time we will continue with the next point thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir